What do you make of the Prime Minister Razaz's statement there in that interview? Um, do you think Jordan has legitimate concerns about this deal? Uh, first of all, good day for you and for your guest. Uh, well, of course, what, what Razaz actually has said is a sort of a continuation uh, to what His Majesty actually expressed in many times and in many occasions related to the Palestinian question and the firm Jordanian position, and in particular related to the uh, uh, American uh, peace proposal, I would call it in that, in, in that respect. Of course, uh, Jordan has a legitimate concern. Uh, first of all, the Palestinian question has been uh, you know, always a priority for Jordan. It's a domestic as well as a foreign policy issue. It, it touches the national interest of Jordan in that respect. And of course, you need to take into consideration the geopolitical complexity of Jordan when it comes to the Palestinian question. And since Jordan is the party that is most close, actually, to the Palestinian question, uh, take into consideration political uh, geographical, social uh, proximity, and Jordan has been engaging, active engagement in the Palestinian question, uh, you know, officially since 1948, even before 1948, I would say, since the uh, declaration of Balfour. So uh, what the uh, prime minister actually clearly stated reflected a clear Jordanian position in that respect, you know, when it comes to the final or um, mm -hmm. hammering out a settlement for the Palestinian question, it concerns Jordan so much when it, yeah. it comes to Jerusalem, when it comes to refugees, when it comes to the border and that sort of thing. Um, in addition, actually, mm -hmm. Jordan has always advocated a just um, and, of course, an agreed upon solution that would result in a viable Palestinian state on the uh, Palestinian state on the 4th of June, uh, you know, uh, line hmm. 